Our workspaces are our second homes where we spend time with our work family. At Fulcrum, we design your spaces like your special abode, creating new experiences through designing spaces for small business owners. Welcome to Fulcrum Home Decor. My name is Pallavi and I'm here to help you transform your spaces into a home, into an office, into a clinic, whatever you can choose. Many of you do not know this about me. I'm going to be sharing something with you today. When I began my career, after my education, I was uh, employed by a company who would specialize in um, financial, who would specialize in the interiors of financial institutions, banks, offices, and I worked with them as their branch head for the uh, Western Zone. So primarily about two years of my career or two beginning years of my career, I was only doing commercial projects. And uh, of course the journey went on and I went into residential. That's another story for the day. Um, let, let me know in the description box. Do you want to know a little bit about my journey? I would uh, if it is so, if you let me know in the comment section, I would see if we can probably do a video on that and share my journey as an interior designer. Okay. So, yes, uh, that's how I started my career and I went into residential interiors and for a very good chunk of my life, I have been uh, helping people uh, make spaces into their homes and transform them into cozy living spaces. Um, once I got married to a dentist and I think that is something a few of you may probably know. And he has a lot of friends for dentists. Now why am I telling you that? Yes. So this is a space that I have designed. This is my first video sharing with you um, interiors of a commercial space. Now why a commercial space is basically something which is non-residential. So it can be an office, it can be a clinic, it can be a store, it could be a shopping mall, it could be anything. So this is the first video of a commercial space that I have designed. Um, we, I have been doing it off and on, but we have not been doing any video shoots about them. And this is the first video that I will be sharing of this commercial space. It is City Dental Care. This dental clinic belongs to a couple whose home I have designed before. Uh, a lot of my viewers have seen this, a lot of people who approach me for interiors have seen them, seen their home on YouTube and uh, they have a beautiful home, not because I have designed it, they have a beautiful home. They have a family of three now when we were doing the interiors, there were two of them and uh, the home that I have shown, which, is, which I will be linking in the description box and in the cards above somewhere here, uh, we designed their home in a very Indian, ethnic, contemporary that's their design style. However, um, the clinic that we have designed is a completely different space and it has not a lot of elements of Indian design in it. So, let me share with you what um, is the process of commercial materials, what was my process of designing it. The process is very similar to what we do in residential apart from the fact that the requirements are completely different here. So, let me just dive in right in and give you a brief and a background of what the space looked like, what did we think about it, and how we went ahead designing the space. So as every dental clinic, this dental clinic also had a few requirements. We needed a space for the dental rooms, we needed a space for the sterilization, we needed a consultation room, we of course needed a reception area, we needed a changing room for the staff, we also needed um, space which was enough for walking and we also needed to allocate space for an OPG room which is um, basically for x-rays and things like that. So we needed to allocate square footage to each of these rooms. We needed to look at them technically with the electrical flow, with the plumbing flow. And um, so more than the aesthetics in a dental clinic or in a commercial space, the functionality is, is something that we need to first take care of. 
so every space has been allocated a certain square footage depending on the use and depending on the availability of space let me show you each space at a time another thing that you see in my videos is we always follow a certain design style a certain design inspiration for every space now this being a commercial space um, the clients wanted to keep keep everything very minimal and keep it very contemporary modern but we wanted to have a theme for the space and the clients wanted to have um, a metal theme for the space now metal theme would mean that it doesn't mean that we'll transform everything in terms of metal but um, we wanted to celebrate each uh, a separate metal for each of the treatment rooms now we have four treatment rooms so we wanted to have uh, the four primary metals which are gold silver copper and nickel however because we've combined uh, treatment room number one and two we've only done copper we've not done the nickel and uh, what we wanted to do is with each room it needed to have a distinctive character of that metal how we brought about that is something that you will see later in the video but we've used um, so we've themed each room as with the metals and we brought it together with their beautiful logo which has all the metals um, you know, woven into the logo the reception is the heart of a commercial space this is the space that one looks at is the first look of the space as soon as one enters so we definitely wanted the back of the reception table which is right in front of the door to have a highlight and to, to speak volumes of what the space is about we wanted to house their logo we wanted to house we wanted the wall to be very clean and yet focal The reception area is also to bring all the themes of all the rooms together. And what we've done here is to use lights in all the three metals, gold, copper, and silver, just like their logo, and celebrate it all together at the reception area. The table is a very welcoming piece with subtle hints of white, gold and of course the dark grey charcoal colour which is also reflected on the wall behind. We kept the layout very minimal. We did not want this space to look very cluttered so we have some loose chairs on one side and we have a seating. The central area of the reception area has been left open so that as soon as a person walks in, he is not welcomed by clutter, rather welcomed by open space. There is a television for people who, want, who would be waiting. There is just enough. There is a side table which has some books for patients to sit and read while they wait for their appointment. Channelized, we've it into two passages one which goes towards the treatment rooms and one which goes towards the utilities. This space that you see, this was built out of a brickwork, and this is the OPG room of the space. On this side, we've provisioned for an accounts room. This room is again very minimal and very simple because patients will be spending very less time here. This just has the basic cabinet and the desk. And to beautify it, we have some pretty frames here. The wall that you see in front, the space has been provisioned for a water dispenser and a coffee machine. Again, something that the that is very accessible to the reception and people can use it very easily. This is the restroom. 
and on this side is the staff and the doctors changing room this is an important aspect of the space which i will be showing you later this is the passage which leads to the treatment rooms and the consultation room and the store room since i was mentioning to you that the, the reception is a space which kind of from which every thing branches out we wanted the same feel to be on the ceiling so we used profile lights which kind of go into each room so it's almost like a branching effect from the reception into the rooms we also wanted to use this passage to celebrate our theme which is the metals these are beautiful artworks which talk about what each metal represents we've used only 3 here because we may be using the fourth room as a additional consultation room this is the first treatment room this is treatment room 2 which i just showed you as a connected this is treatment room 3 This is treatment room four. Here is the consultation room, and this is the sterilization room. Let me show you each room individually. This is treatment room one. At this point. Treatment room number 1 and 2 have been left empty because this is a future expansion process. They've also we've also not given the partition between the two rooms because we may use this as a a, a, a room with a chair and this as the consultation for the room. At the moment this is being used just as a consultation. This room will eventually become the copper gold represents perfection and purity aids healing protection growth and knowledge this is the gold room of the clinic we of course did not want to go out and out with the bright gold so the first thing we did was to choose a fabric for the chair the dental chair and we chose to wear it with a very light champagne gold color celebrating that we chose to go ahead with the unit which a uh, storage unit here which is primarily in white but we chose to go ahead with golden handles just to give that subtle hint of gold things like the base which is white and gold the faucet which is in gold the towel holder which is in gold and a few accessories in gold help us help us celebrate the color of gold in this room This is treatment room four, which is the silver room. Silver represents divination, luck, and wealth. Aids clarity, awareness, focus, and strength.
again to begin with we chose the color of this of the chair which was a very subtle silver gray we chose the cabinetry in a gray silver with dark silver handles this is the recovery this would be actually the uh, the major room where all the surgeries would happen and once the surgery happens the patient generally needs to spend some time recovering from it recovering from the process of anesthesia so we have provided them with a recovery bed here and some frames again celebrating the silver in very very subtle ways we were this entire recovery bed that you see this actually houses all the ups battery and inverter and it's very nice and neatly tucked and hidden away this is the other cabinet this door leads to the consultation which is also accessible from the outside the faucet the handles this the picture frames these are the subtle ways in which we have added the element of silver in this room this is the consultation room which both of them could be using again we've kept the space very minimal using just warm wood tones top color and uh, reflecting that on the chairs and just keeping everything in white so this is a nice big table for them to entertain two or three patients at a time there is enough storage behind for all their back end office work and here is a lovely place that can have all their knickknacks and remembrances from their family This is the door that leads to the treatment room, the silver treatment room. This is the sterilization room. It pretty much looks like a kitchenette. So there is space to house their fridge. there is a lot of counter space which allows them to do all kind of uh, mixing of materials and things like that there are drawers here these cabinets house all their compressors which are all directly connected to the chairs and we have a counter on this side which again has so we have provision for enough space for them to have their equipment heavy equipment put at the bottom and then we have drawers here which will help them to keep the other essentials there is a washing machine there is a microwave so this is a full fledged kitchenette which will allow them to use the space throughout the day there is a loft there are overhead cabinets all aiding to the functions of the clinic we also have a door here this door connects to the changing room so the way we designed it is that anybody who enters the clinic enters from the reception goes to the washroom comes washes themselves up and uh, comes here changes and from here the doctors and the staff can enter the operatory area this changing room is also the staff locker room and has ample space for some equipment on top and storage for each person so they can hang their lab coats they can hang they keep their bags this is a bench for them to just sit and relax for a few minutes if necessary and there is storage below for shoes this is how the store room of the space looks
was the tour of City Dental Care. Uh, this is in Vakar, Pune. I can actually share the address on this site with you. So if you are in need for the dental care, this is the place to come to. They are both oral surgeons, so they work primarily on surgeries, and uh, but they give you all everything that you need under the roof in dentistry, so you can visit them. I hope you enjoyed uh, the process that we follow. Some of you may not even relate to what is happening, but I'm so uh, honored that you're actually viewing this video and seeing my work because you just like to see interior work. So this was a commercial space. If you are in need for designing a home or a commercial space or anything, you can get in touch with us uh, with the details which are all mentioned in the description box below. We would love to help you transform a space into anything that you desire. And uh, with this, I will be signing off now. You can watch a lot of our videos which are home tours and home renovations and makeovers. They are all available on the channel. And I will see you again with a home project next. So it's a makeover. Do stay tuned for that. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel because of the algorithm that is working with YouTube. A lot of our videos are not reaching you, you viewers unless you subscribe and you hit the bell icon. So definitely. Um, if you would like to follow us, if you would want to be a part of our journey, then I would recommend and I would suggest that you please uh, subscribe to the channel. A lot of the pictures of our projects are behind the scenes and short videos. Everything is posted on Instagram on a daily basis so that we are in touch with our community and uh, you are able to see what we do. So if you are on Instagram and would like to see, um, would like to spend a few minutes of your time with us, definitely go and follow us on Instagram. I am so glad that you have been watching this video that you're here today and encouraging us and supporting us. Thank you. Thank you for that. I will see you again in our next video.